Okay, I'm just going to go through uh, replacing the studs and dome knots on the uh, on the headers next year. I think it's quite easy. Uh, I think it's easy. Most a lot of people will, but you've never done it this type of thing before. Uh, maybe why you're looking at this video in the first place. Uh, if for any reason when you're trying this, these studs feel very tight. Could try running the engine, which is what I do, before I try and undo them, so there's a bit of heat there. Uh, they're very rusty, to be careful, <coughs> and maybe best to soak them in WD-40 at the studs. So we're just doing, replacing the actual nuts themselves. Um, there won't be that problem, there's just a risk with the studs. And I don't want to be held responsible for Still cheering off. Um, there is a picture on the eBay listing of some terrible corroded studs. They're not actually the ones that I had on my original bike, but they are very, very close to it. And I managed to get them all out. I, uh, the engine being heated up, or stubby D40, maybe soak it overnight, then run the engine, one or the other, you know. But uh, anyway, if you just carry on with the video, hopefully, I'll give you some info on how to do the job. tightened up um, it doesn't burst <clears> there's <throat> a chance it we use the original ones we don't use the double washers and stuff uh, it could burst the cap off depending on how tight you've done it whether you've put new exhaust gaskets on etc anyway so I'm going to start to thread that in that so far with it and I'll uh, do the reverse of what I did before. Same procedure, I'm going to use one of these. These I'm using are actually um, stainless steel versions of the standard original nut that comes on the bike. Um, those got those available as well. Inside one, just get that. Uh, there you go.
a crinkle shaker proof washer. And this tends to flat washer. Put that on first. Shake proof. And then the dome nut. There we go. And uh, that's it with them on. That's what it looks like with them on anyway. Um, stainless steel studs, stainless crinkle washer, stainless flat washer, and a stainless uh, dome nut. They're not polished, that's not polished or anything. Uh, you can run them on the bottle. One of the options it just depends on what you want to do. You just want to put the nuts on themselves, best use those two washers. Or I've actually got on mine the standard, uh, standard replacement, which is obviously much easier than this. There's a washer on it, uh, so the silicon edge, and I tighten straight up to the collar. to show you the originals because they won't be like uh, this is a 2000 uh, fuel injection model it's, it's only done a couple of thousand miles there's no corrosion uh, there's a slight bit on there um, I've also had these on my 2000 SP which I no longer have um, they're completely rotted away and so were the nuts as well so basically these are um, a direct stainless steel Replacements with a serrated base on, and they just go straight on. They don't need to wash it onto the uh, onto the stainless studs. And that's that. If you just want a basic, uh, if you just want to get rid of that horrible rusty look that will come, even if you keep it inside, just uh, tidies it up a bit, and that's a, an easy. Cheap option, straight away. Easy upgrade.